this uh, engine and this plant is capable to run a most efficient and full load and also extremely fast up and down. So in that respect, in, in, uh, even in a market, a smaller market like Belgium, you have the requirements coming up similar than uh, in the German market, even if you have still less uh, renewables. But uh, in, in general, the plant can run in all kinds of modes and therefore the, the fuel efficiency is extremely important and you can save operating costs, you can save CO2, so it makes a lot of sense to use this high efficient engine and replace most probably older uh, fossil power plants with less, uh, with higher CO2 footprint. In a moment, um, as we said, we have sold uh, six units in the US. We have uh, now one in Korea, more projects coming up in Korea because the fuel price in Korea is extremely high. It's all uh, liquidified natural gas coming into Korea, so they need a high efficient unit. Uh, markets like Germany is, uh, are extremely interesting because they need the flexibility of that what we have incorporated. Uh, other markets like, uh, uh, like Russia, for example, they can uh, use that uh, large engine um, and also very fuel efficient. Um, we are even discussing now with uh, Thailand and Singapore customers that they are implementing that because of the low CO2 footprint. The 10 years program it was a long program. I mean, there had been other companies claiming they can do it in, in much shorter time. But uh, what we have applied in that program was uh, learning out of the previous uh, experience that we said we need to invest more money upfront uh, in the validation, in the testing, in the design to avoid at the end, in the first unit, any kind of mistakes. And as you have seen today, this plant is running extremely well full load and cycling up and down without any, any issues. So the, the money invested there was clearly uh, to make this program a very reliable program. Uh, meeting all the requirements, as I said, uh, more than 60% efficiency, highest flexibility, highest ecological and ec economic uh, values. So uh, therefore it took a little longer, uh, but it took as long as we planned it. Um, and therefore we are happy now, after 10 years, to be here and, uh, and show you that. Actually, we have been learning out of, out of um, uh, the mistakes of competitors. There was already an H-Class engine by one of our American competitors. And he failed because he had been using steam cooling. And uh, we were clear from the beginning steam cooling is not the right choice. Uh, however, of course, there are uh, more competitors working on output and efficiency because this is a driver for technology. We are now ahead. Let's see. Uh, I assume that we will stay ahead in the next years. Uh, and we, have, we are not ready and not finalized yet with our potentials to grow uh, in efficiency and output. And uh, I believe we are, because of the timing, well ahead in terms of reliable operation, which also helps uh, in the market to show that this unit is reliable and can operate according to customer demand.